Hello, my beautiful Cancers, my Crabalicious Crabbies. How are you doing? This is B, and welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for Sun Sign, Moon Sign, Rising Sign, Venus, and Jupiter Sign of Cancers. All right, Cancers, we're going to get right into it. Uh, for those of you interested in a reading with me, you can certainly go to the link below and get a reading with me there. I will be putting more dates up for those consultations due to the fact that I am now full. Okay, if you want to donate to my channel, you can donate at the link below as well, or you, become, you can become a member on my website so you can get a membership there as well. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really share these videos, guys, because um, my particular channel is being throttled which basically means that uh, YouTube um, is no longer sharing my videos, is no longer recommending my videos to people. So therefore you have to share, you gotta give that thumbs up to keep these coming out. Again, as many of you know, I am considering going on a different platform, whether that be on my website or whether that be on a completely different platform, but that is the direction we're gonna go. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got going on here. Revolutious Cancers. Beautiful Cancers. This is for the Noble Cancers. Basically what this means is my readings do not particularly allow for negative energy to come into the channel, which, which means that this isn't an entertainment thing as much as it is a life coaching, um, letting you know what the energies are in order to improve your life, take the information for what it's worth, and use it when it is appropriate um, a lot of people, sometimes they come on and they look for information on other people. They they want to see other people suffer. They they talk uh, badly about other people. This channel's not about that. It, this channel is also not like airy-fairy either. It's not like it's all rainbows and, and you know, wagging puppy dog tails. It's, it's not like that. It is of the energy where you can come here and you can identify with some of the energies that you're going through and sometimes there are energies that come out within the story that are particular pieces of advice that you can use that maybe you didn't think of before in order to bring more abundance in your life and in the people that you love, okay? That is simply my intention. Remember, these could be happening to you. The energy could be coming from you or it may be happening around you. All right, Cancers, what do we got going on here? One more quick shuffle. All right, Cancers, go ahead and put your energy into the deck. Just ask Universe, dear Universe, you know, what is it that you have for me? What advice? What energy? What should I be looking out for? Okay. All right, we're going to cut the deck. Six cards from the Rider Waite. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now, I will say this, um, Cancers, when I was just doing that, I got very lightheaded. So I want some of you to be careful if you're working too much or if you feel like you're not feeling well, please take a break. Please, um, you know, lay down. Don't over exhaust or overstretch yourself. That's not going to be worth it. All right. There's a little bit of a dizziness that's kind of coming in with the cancer energy right now. So you might be dizzy with many things going on around you and you might have a lot of activities going on around you and it's making you dizzy. Okay. So just kind of be aware of that energy. Now, once we're done with this energy, we're going to pull two from the top deck. And for those of you that are the members on my website, you will get the rest of the extended reading, which is all of the clarifiers with top. And then we're going to pull one of one set of Barbieri for clarifying um, a particular set of energies. And then we're going to do an energy oracle card as well as a mystical shaman oracle. All right. First card for my beautiful Cancers, Ace of Swords. Cancers, someone is revealing the truth. There's the truth of a situation. There's a victory here, Cancers. Something is definitely happening um, as it relates to revealing the truth of the situation cutting through the BS, saying enough is enough. It's time for us to truly be honest with ourselves. That's kind of what I'm hearing with this. This is also victory. And don't forget, Cancers, this is also a phallic symbol. So for some of you Cancers out there, um, you might have a very robust sex life. Okay, but this is definitely coming out. Remember, this is that universal hand of God that comes in and gifts you 
the information, the dialogue, the communication that brings the truth into a situation. All right, Cancers. Beautiful card to start out with. But this could also be cutting something out of your life that no longer serves you. They're showing me something. Cancers, before you go on any long trips or before, um, if you've got something going on with your car, uh, please make sure that you, you check the tires, make sure that the tires don't have anything impaled in them. And again, I'm not putting any bad energy out there, but I am seeing that someone may hit a nail on the road or there's been a lot of construction. Just make sure you're, you're checking your tires before you get in your car because you may have a low tire. So if you've got a low tire, please go get air in your tires. For some reason, it's coming up that way. I don't know why, but it is. I just literally saw a tire, a flat tire. Like somebody's tire is off the car and somebody is looking at it to exchange the tire. Okay, that's what I am seeing here. So what is going on with this other energy? We do have the Ten of Wands. This is really a lot of heavy energy moving, moving large items from one place to another, having many things to do. This goes back to that feeling of being a little bit dizzy with everything that's around you, the chaos, the activity, with the number of things that have to be completed in a certain amount of time. Carrying a heavy load, perhaps carrying the karma of someone else or allowing their karma to infect your aura, that can happen. Sometimes when universe comes in and tests us, it is due to the fact that universe will bring us someone who's karmically challenged basically. And they like to push their karma and push their problems on other people. And someone may have been taking on more than their fair share. This is also back issues. So Cancers, please be careful of your back. I am also hearing I'm back in the saddle again. And I believe that song is by Aerosmith. So something might be coming up with Aerosmith. But the 10 here is the 10th house, status and career. So status and career for you might be a little bit um, heavy right now. You feel like you're carrying more weight. You feel like maybe you're gaining weight, but there's a heaviness about it. Page of Swords. So as you're moving to complete this project, as you're moving to say, okay, once I remove this karma out of my life, this is what's waiting for you. The Page of Swords. You're surrounded by the journey of truth, okay? Now, this could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra child, Cancer. But doesn't have to be. This is someone on the journey of truth. This is someone that's defending themselves with the sword of truth. So, Cancers, you're doing all of this hard work. Now, for some of you noble Cancers, you're moving all of this energy, that maybe you don't know about. You know, sometimes, I don't know why this vision is coming up, but it is. And again, remember, I get psychic downloads that may not necessarily apply to the cards. And most good psychics do that. So what's happening here is sometimes you go to the altar. You go to the altar of God, of, of you know, Jehovah, Allah, I mean, whoever it is, okay, you go to the altar and you give up your sins. You give up your burdens at the altar in exchange for a clean slate. I feel that this is what this is. You're going to the, you're realizing the truth of a situation and you're saying, I can no longer do this. I can no longer hold this burden. I'm taking my burdens to the altar. And here you will be met with the truth of the situation or you will be met with um, the swift blow in order to reduce the burden, okay? Now, what is the swift blow? What is the defense here? This is energy for you to be able to take with you on how to utilize the truth. So when you go to give your burdens up to whomever you're giving them up to, whatever deity you give them up to, they are basically going to give you the, the impetus and the energy and the information, whether it be through psychic information, intuitive information, 
uh, some sort of download that you may get. They're going to show you how to use the truth that you now have. And they're going to relieve you of your burden and say, please go forth and prosper. Okay. You have come to me with the truth and the understanding that you are ready to release the burdens that you no longer need to carry. So therefore, I ask you to go forward and prosper on the journey of truth. That could be what's going on for some of you out there. But again, this could be a child that's very defensive for some of you. Maybe you've done a lot for your child in the past, stuck up for your child, made your child victorious, but they continually put more burdens on you. And you're saying no more, no more. If you get in trouble, you're going to handle it. You're going to deal with it. Not my burden anymore. You, you get thrown into jail, you're in jail. I'm, you know, good luck. Because something's going on here and it doesn't have to be as extreme as jail. That's just an analogy, just an example. What's your fourth card? The Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is being able to juggle things and not drop the ball. Something about drop the ball. Drop the ball. Call the ball. Whatever that means. I don't think they, I, they say call the ball in, in um, call the ball. Where did they say that? I think they said it in Top Gun. There might be something going on here regarding uh, the Navy. Weren't they Navy or were they Air Force? I should know, considering I'm former Air Force, but I think they were Navy. They were Navy pilots. Yes, they were Navy pilots. That's what it is. So there might be something coming up with the Navy. Call the ball, whatever that means to you. That's what's coming up. Okay. And this, you know, not dropping the, and that's interesting. Look at that. Ships, Navy, that's what it is. I wasn't even connecting with that until just now, but this is also the infinity symbol. Okay. Circling through situations regarding decisions about money and finances. Maybe you have two jobs that you're juggling. This is a two who rules the second house. Taurus does. Self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. Your status and career is coming up here in your self-value, especially with the 10 here. So you've got Taurus, Ener Taurus house energy and Capricorn house energy. Those are very earthy signs. And Cancers, your Capricorn house is your seventh house. It's right across from you. So this is your opposite. So your your opposite, your partner at work or your partner in love might be going through this energy as well. Okay. So what do we have going on with the fifth card? The Knight of Pentacles. Well, here we are. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancers, you have got so much earthy energy in your chart right now. You've got to ground something is what this is telling me. This could be an idea that you have and you're, you're floating around this idea and it's like, Wow, this idea is great and it sounds wonderful and I should really get this going. Yes, you should. Universe wants you to ground it into reality and manifest it. It's been slow going. Maybe you've just held it in your hand for a long time. You're like, should I do this? Should I not do this? That's this energy. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Do I have the money to do it? So on and so forth. But the Knight of Pentacles is coming and there might be something going on with real estate Farms, farmland, harvesting happening here. The black horse, the dark horse. And the money associated with it. The money has stopped. Literally, someone is saying, this is interesting. Someone is saying, unless you do all the work, you get no money. Or someone is withholding money because the job has not been completed yet. This could also be someone forcing you to do all the work at work. Like you're the one that does everything. This is an offer. Someone might be giving like, he's looking right at this card. So what? Who is he giving money to or what is he giving money to? 
That's what we're going to ask. Oh my gosh. Wow, cancers. I don't even know what to say. Cancers, you may have found out that someone is getting a divorce. You could be getting a divorce payout for alimony, child support. Someone's trying to get more money from alimony or child support. This could be related to a lie, a deceit, a betrayal, a separation, surgery, heart problems. Should I go in to get seen for a heart issue? Is it going to cost me money? How much money is it going to cost me? I don't know if I want to do this. This is the third house. Who rules the third house? Gemini. Social media contracts, negotiations. Siblings, short distance travel. There's travel there. Travel has stopped. Multitasking, gossip, lies. The negative side of Gemini is lies and gossip. So is someone paying for lies and gossip? I mean, let's just call a spade a spade here. Does somebody have to pay for flood damage? Does somebody have to pay for some sort of weather damage that has happened to a situation? Does somebody have a claim out there? And they're moving away the debris, clearing out the debris. Do I stay here? Or do I move? This might be near water. But that's what I'm seeing. Let's clarify these. Wow, cancers. Unbelievable. Gotta let me know. I have got to pull why the Ace of Swords is here and why the Three of Swords is here. I need to know those two. <laughs> Ace of Swords and Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Three of Swords. Let's see what we've got, my beautiful Cancers. The Knight of Discs. You're going to see this a lot in my readings where I get mirrored energy. That's just basically telling me that my first reading is pretty accurate, but there might be another story with the Knight of Pentacles. So it seems to me you might have two different earth signs. <clears throat> two different earth signs in this, in this reading, in this time frame in November. This Knight of Discs is looking out at the sun and just staring at the sun. When you have the Ace of Swords and someone's staring at the sun, the sun is all about illumination. I think somebody's being illuminated, Cancers. That could be you, that could be somebody else, but something is being illuminated and it might be about this deception. Someone paying for deception and lies. Something's getting discovered, Cancers. What? Why is the Three of Swords here? The Queen of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio? This, if this is a noble Pisces, and it should be a noble Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but if it's a noble Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that means they know about this. They know about what's going on. So these are the people that need to be talked to. Cancers, this might even be you because you are a Queen of Cups. You're a Cancer. You could be the Pisces or the Scorpio as well. But what this could also be, because it's connected to the Three of Swords, it could be that you discover that a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio was the person paying for the lies, the deceit, and the gossip. This Queen of Cups has something to do, Cancers, with this pain, this anguish, and this separation. That's just what I'm seeing here. There is, the truth is going to be revealed, but I think I will title your reading the journey of truth because that's what I feel you're going through right now. Because look, 
the truth is revealed, you're realizing the burden, all of a sudden you have more information, you're being given the, the message of clarity, you're deciding what you should do with it. Does it affect my money? Does it, doesn't it affect my money? Here's this energy of maybe I should hold off on giving money to the situation or perhaps you're saying, now I know that someone's been paying for this and it might be this water sign. If this is not a noble cancer, this might be another cancer in your life. This cancer person is causing this energy. This cancer person is extorting some money out of an earth sign. Or this Pisces or Scorpio is extorting money out of an earth sign. Something going on with earth and water. And I really feel Capricorn, Cancers, and Scorpios. I'm not seeing any Pisces here. I could, you know, it could be Pisces. Because there is a three and this is March. So it could be a Pisces. Definitely could be. Any water sign. But you are on the journey of truth. And that's what I've got for you, Cancers. I hope you have a great November. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.